This is the story of two young guys, bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls! But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet! It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Perfect. Let's start with the basic commands. The mouse left click is used to move around your surroundings. Holding the right click and then releasing it on one of the available actions, you'll interact with the elements of the scene. Try with the chainsaw.